This is the Sony PS-F5, a linear tracking turntable manufactured in 1983, also known as the Flamingo. And it may be one of the most brilliant designs ever created. How does it work? Unlike traditional turntables that use a tone arm and cartridge to track the grooves of a record, the PSF5 uses a linear tracking tone arm. What is that exactly? Well, it's essentially a small arm that is mounted on a rail and moves in a straight line across the record, following the groove exactly as the vinyl was pressed. The PSF5 can play 7-inch or 12-inch records, and it's as simple as placing the vinyl in between the platter and the clamping mechanism. As you turn the knob, a contact is made between the locking sensor, and once you press play, the disc begins to spin. Even though it's small, this record player uses a direct drive platter, which may be affected by vibrations, but it provides high torque and consistent playback speed. The controls are simple, start and stop, which advances the tone arm to the beginning of the record automatically or returns the tone arm to its resting point. You can also manually advance the tone arm by using the up and down arrows, just in case you want to play a song in the middle of the record. These functions are controlled by a motor that has a spring and string attached, which directs the tone arm to its correct position. They even added a little brush to collect dust before the needle touches that part of the record. How cool. Now, you're probably wondering, how is this unit playing a record with no power? Well, the PSF5 can be powered with a power supply or, get this, four AA batteries. On the right side, you have the power switch and the DC input. Although it's a little beat up, it actually uses a center negative adapter as opposed to a center positive adapter, which is more commonly used today. On the left side, you have controls for the record size, 17 or 30 centimeters, and the record speed, 45 or 33 RPM. The lower section provides volume control and two stereo outputs. That way, you can listen with a friend. One of the coolest features is the flip out feet for vertical playback. But since it has linear tracking, you can also lay it flat and play records this way. Now, let's get to the fun stuff. Finding these portable turntables today can be difficult and expensive. I was able to get my hands on two units in both needed repair. After fixing all the electrical issues, I used a process called RetroBright to restore the yellowed plastic to its original color. Well, closer to its original color. There are many methods to this process, but basically I poured a 12% hydrogen peroxide in a sealed container, placed the outer case inside and let it sit. It was about 80 degrees Fahrenheit outside and the container got up to 120 degrees. Two days later, this is how it looked and I was pretty happy, but some part of me still wanted to do something different, something new. I decided to give this retro tech a modern flip. The first step was a color change. After deconstructing the entire unit, cleaning everything up, I sanded it, primed it, and then it was time to paint. For the outside cases, I went with a low gloss black, and for the inside case and trim, a high gloss white. I wanted to base this concept off the latest PlayStation. After measuring and designing, I used a vinyl cutter to cut all the text and some trim. Luckily, the font was easy to find, and most labels today have icons instead of words anyway. After some careful placement, I coated the cases in a matte clear coat, and this is how it turned out.
In my opinion, the Sony PSF5 is one of the most unique turntables ever created. And to see it still playing records 40 years later is truly a sign of premium craftsmanship. 